What's up guys, this is Yash and welcome to this new tutorial. We're gonna go over shipping rates, how to set up shipping weights and how to do all the cool stuff with shipping on Shopify. It is a must know kind of video if you're doing drop shipping, if you're doing product shipping, if you're actually shipping, if you're actually just selling products which don't have any weight or you're just trying to send uh, sell digital media, anything of any type, you really wanna know more about how to set up weights and how to set up shipping rates and how to set up delivery delivery charges or whatever you want to charge so without any further ado we're gonna go right away and first of all before I cannot emphasize enough how important it is for you to actually start a Shopify store or start an e-commerce store because it is one of the most important things that you might want to do right now because it is a bubble you want to get into it quickly and get your part and share before it bursts and you don't have any more entry or there are more barriers of entry at this moment the barriers of entry into Shopify stores and e-commerce stores and magenta stores are minimal this is the right time to get in and take advantage of it because I'm telling you because Facebook advertising is getting expensive by the day Every all of the kinds of advertising are getting expensive at this hour at this point everything is just optimally set so if you have not done it before now is the time you want to jump right into it you want to go ahead and start your e-commerce store and if you decide to do that go to this link right here or this link is also in my description it is my affiliate link with Shopify.com and you could simply click on it and it's gonna actually bring you on a login sign up page on Shopify set yourself an account and it's gonna get you 14 days 14 14 1 4 14 days of free trial you don't have to pay a penny you could set up your store see you visualize how it looks and stuff then if you think 40 days isn't enough, you just give customer service a call or you get on the chat and get it extended if you'd like. And all that cool stuff can be done for you. So go ahead without any further delay or ado, just go ahead and get that done and let's hop into the video. So I'm gonna just crap myself into this corner and move you guys over to this screen. So what you're watching, looking at right now, right over here is my link, shopify.com backslash question mark ref equal with stomachified you really want to go to that link and sign up because that is the way you support me in a way so go ahead click on it and it's going to bring you on a sign up page simply just go hit get started on the blue button and it's going to ask you for a simple setup and you could just set it up however you want to set up uh, let's say i want to set it up with a fake account i want to set it up with that account and i'm just going to put in a password and i'm going to put trial one two three as my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero as my store name and hit create store and shop. That's going to do the master stuff, put it all together for you, have it all rolling and rolling and rolling. It's going to do the thing, sit tight, we create your store. So it's going to go ahead and actually put things together. So I'm just kind of for just for now, I'm just going to let everything be whatever, whatever. And I'm just going to all spill it for now. And I'm just gonna false fill everything just just so we have things rolling and I could go over and tell you about more about what we do here so entering my store setting it all up so it really doesn't care mine right now it's just gonna show whatever it is there so right now we're on a trial version which you see right here and it gets me 14 days of free trial which is amazing and then now let's go right into shipping so what shipping does for you are three four different main reasons you want to actually worry about shipping number one if you're shipping a product and you want to have free shipping you still want to be very specific in weights because shopify actually charges you by weight so first of all let's go ahead and create a product and i tell you how to set up a weight set up a weight or if you have an existing product you can edit all the weights and set it up in a specific way so go ahead add a product and let's say you want to make weight tutorial one right and then you just want to write nothing product for test only if i know how to spell product p-r-o-d-u-c-t product for test right and you want to price it at 10 bucks and then you want to go go down and right over here you see shipping this is one of the main things so if it says this product requires shipping and it re relates to you you want to select this I would say you most of the times want to select that but if you're selling digital media or you're selling stuff that doesn't need particular shipping then you just 
uncheck this, but most times, like 90 out of 100, you want to select it because you want to have it done as shipping. You, uh, after someone adds to cart, they click on putting in their personal information, then they go to next and it's going to take you to shipping. You could actually edit that and you could change it as delivery. You could name the page whatever you want. So this is one of the things that I do recommend. So you want to weigh your products way differently. You do not always want to put the accurate weight because if you're charging them like a flat fee, if you're not charging uh, your customers a flat fee and charging it based on the weight of the product, you want to over here put in the accurate weight of the product. So you're going to go take it to the measuring scale, put this thing in a box that you're going to ship it out of, and then weigh the product. Put in the weight of the product after how you're going to actually put the weight is going to be the weight of the marker plus the tape that you put in. Actually pack the whole thing and see how much it's going to end up being. So say it ends up being one pound, you put in one pound. But if you're not actually charging them based, like if you're not charging them dynamic prices for the for the marker rule based on the actual price of shipping, you want to charge them a flat fees. Remember, you want to mark, you want to put this as a whole number, like a pound, or you want to put it as 10 ounces or something like that. So when people buy multiple of those, you could set up shipping rates that would charge them double or triple, or say you want to charge them one marker is five bucks in shipping and two markers is seven bucks in shipping. How are you going to do it? It's very simple. You mark it as at a dollar and let's assume this is also a marker. So these two together are two pounds and you would set up your shipping as one pound is equal to five dollars and two pounds is equal to six dollars. So that actually when someone got, gets into the shipping part of their checkout process and the cart finds that it has the total weight of two pounds, it's going to show them one shipping price of $7.99. I'm going to tell you how to set it up. So that is the only reason in the weights category, if you want to do flat rate shipping, you want to put a whole number for the products. And if you were trying to do it based on whatever the zip code is and whatever actual price of shipping is and you want it to be dynamic, you want to put the accurate weight with the shipping, with the box, with everything inclusive so you're not paying anything out of pocket later. That being said, we're going to set up one pound for the weight of the marker. I'm going to save it. And then we're going to duplicate this product and we're going to say different niche as a product, right? And duplicate it. When we duplicate a different niche, I'm going to put a hundred pounds on that. Now what happens, say you are ha you have a website and you're selling two distinct products, right? So you're selling markers and phones. Let's assume that. Or you say you're selling bracelets and rings. Now they're two different products. You might not want to charge them the same shipping price. So what you could simply do is you want to, like how we set up a dollar, set up a pound per marker as weight for flat rate shipping. Again, if you want, if you want to do dynamic shipping based on their location, your location, the actual shipping prices, then you would just weigh this product in the box and everything and actually put the accurate weight in, in here. But if you're just doing a flat rate shipping, then what you're going to do, you're going to take up this product, whichever product you have, and you're going to actually put a whole number for it. But you want to put a whole number a little out. Now, which, what I mean by that is, say someone buy, if you're putting one pound for this and if you kind of put one pound for this so either thing that they buy the shipping price is going to be the same because the cart does not know what ship, what product it is because there's no other way for the for the cart to know so it would it could assume that it's just one pound worth of product and one pound is equal to five dollars that's how you set up your shipping so you might want to put this product as at a hundred pounds that doesn't have to be its actual weight your phone is not a hundred pounds obviously but for the shipping for the shopping cart to understand that you're trying to do a different product and the weight should be different and the price displayed should be different you want to do it at 100 pounds because you want to have enough window in the middle so if someone buys a hundred markers then the total weight of the cart would be a hundred pounds which would be equal to one phone's uh, one phone's shipping price so that gives you a little window and you know not too many people, I mean nobody would ever buy a hundred markers from you at a go, which is not common. So that is the reason you want to put it out at a hundredth unit. So that means you want to mark, you want to put this at a, at a pound and then you don't want to put this at 10 because it's quite probable that pe someone can buy 10 markers from you, but it's not probable that a hundred people are going to, like a person is going to buy a hundred markers. 
I hope you're understanding it. I'm trying to clear it out as much as possible. But as we go further into this details, you would understand more. So you're, you're marking at 100 pounds and then you're gonna save it. That being said, what you do next is you're gonna go into settings and then you're gonna go into shipping. And it's right here, click on shipping. Always remember guys, a lot of times people do forget that shipping is one of the most important categories to worry about. People do not care about it and just put their sites out live and then they mess it up because they end up either displaying too high of a shipping price or too low of a shipping price. If it's too high, no one's gonna buy it from you. If it's too low, then you would have to pay out of pocket so actually you're losing money. So right up here where it says zones and rates, you just go, uh, in domestic, we're talking the United States right now, you just go hit edit, and it's gonna bring you up right up here. So right now, we have nothing select. You could do price-based rates, or you could do weight-based rates. So what do you mean by price-based rates? So say, if this phone's 80 bucks or more, you wanna do free shipping, or if it's 80 bucks or more, you wanna do $5 in shipping. If it's $5 or more, you wanna do $10 in shipping. It could depend on however you wanna set it up. So that's price-based. So the price is the main reason that would actually influence the shipping cost, or it could be weight-based. I'm trying to coach you on the weight-based rates because what weight-based rates do, you could order multiple and stuff, and it's, it's a whole another shebang. So let's go into weight-based rates and click add rate right over here. I always believe in saying standard shipping too because it makes sense. Standard shipping, and then it says minimum order weight. You wanna make different categories. Now what happens, if you make one category for one pound, that's gonna be zero to one pound. Second category is gonna be 1.1 to two pounds, because two pounds would be equal to two pounds. And then you wanna make another category for two pounds to three pounds. And then you wanna make another category from three to 10, because you wanna give them a break for shipping if you want, or you could make category from one to two, two to three, three to four, four to five, five to six, and then if you wanna give a break or however you wanna do. So you wanna do a standard shipping Oh, um, standard shipping setup, you wanna do a minimum order weight of zero, maximum order weight of one, that is for one marker, and then you're gonna do rate, you're gonna take free shipping rate off, obviously if you don't wanna ship it for free, and put, say, four bucks, and hit done. So now, right here, standard shipping that you see right up here, what it is, when someone puts a marker in the cart and the weight equals one pound, it's gonna automatically display four dollars in the cart. So $4 in the shipping preferences or shipping choices, it's gonna show them one option, that is standard ship. But anyways, so what we did, we have a standard shipping set up now. So when someone puts one marker in the cart, what it's gonna do when it reaches, when the person or the customer reaches, after they fill out the personal information, they reach shipping, it's gonna show them only one price. That's four bucks and nothing else. It's because, the weight of the market is one pound and our window, our range is zero pounds to one pound. Now we're gonna create another rate and we're gonna also name it standard shipping. And you're gonna put minimum order weight at 1.1 because you wanna do a disconnect and then you wanna go to two pounds and then you wanna do whatever shipping rate you wanna provide. I would say six because you get a break automatically. You wanna provide them with a break so they order more. So right over here, what you see is standard shipping. When they buy one marker, it's four bucks to ship. And that is the only option that's gonna show them in shipping. And when they buy two markers, they won't be shown the first category because now the weight of the cart is two pounds, which equals to $6 in shipping. It's automatically gonna show them six bucks. Why we didn't do eight and we did six is because we wanna give them a little break. If you wanna do eight, you wanna do 10, you wanna do $20 for two, it depends on what product you're selling. We're doing markers, so that's what I think is the best. Next, if someone buys three markers, you wanna do standard shipping, again, same label, because they won't be shown standard shipping two times because now the cart has more weight, so only one option. With that being said, we're gonna go standard shipping again, and we're gonna go 2.1 pounds to three pounds. And then we're gonna do, say, over here we're gonna go, say, eight bucks. So if you buy three markers, we're gonna ship it for eight bucks. Instead of 12 bucks, you're gonna get it shipped for eight bucks. And then you wanna do another one. So if one, say someone's gonna go buy four markers, the total weight of the cart is gonna be four pounds or more. So you wanna say if you buy four 
markers or more, your shipping is free, right? So you can do standard shipping. And you wanna go from here, you wanna go four till say 50. So what you're trying to do is like if some, this window would create uh, anyone who buys four markers to 50 markers get free shipping and hit done. So now over here, let me just break it down for you. So if someone buys one marker, they would only be shown one option that is for standard shipping for four bucks. If someone buys two markers, they will be shown right over here. It says 1.1 to two pounds. So the total weight of two markers would be two pounds and the rate shown would be six bucks. Third is standard shipping 2.1 to three pounds. So if someone buys three markers, that weight would add up to one, two, three, three pounds, and they would be shown eight bucks as the only shipping cost. Someone buys four markers, someone buys five markers, six markers, seven markers, eight markers, all the way up to 50 pounds or 50 markers. That's four LBs to 50 pounds, four pounds to 50 pounds, any number of markers, any time, any number from four till 50, the shipping would be free because that's how we have set it. And why we set up 50 and why we didn't go till 1,000 or 900, 9,999, because we do not want the system to actually start considering this as one of the markers and provide with free shipping. You wanna make a different category. So now your marker niche is covered with all those four different shipping windows. Now you wanna create a shipping window or a shipping rate for your phone. So you wanna sell a phone and you wanna set up like how we did in the products. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull up the products and we did a different niche. And once we scroll down, we see we did a price of a hundred bucks. Hit save, and this is a hundred dollars a product, and it's hundred pounds. Okay, so now you come up here and you want to do this same way, but you're gonna add a rate, you're gonna put standard shipping right up here, standard shipping, and you're gonna go 99 pounds. Till 105 pounds ships at 12.99 done so what it does now is done okay so what it does now we just made this other one right up here my bad right right this one that I just highlighted standard shipping and the range goes from 99 pounds to 105 pounds so now if someone adds this product in the cart that's a phone and it's weight it weighs at 100 pounds according to our product section according to how we've set it up so the only option the only standard shipping option they're going to be shown is from the window 99 pounds to 105 pounds because this sits right in the middle at 100 pounds so they will be shown only 12.99 next if someone wants to buy Two phones, you want to be sure, because if one phone is 100 pounds, two phones would be 200 pounds. That one, if you have more than one phone, then you're going to get a shipping rate of, say, 20 bucks. And you put standard shipping. And hit done. Same way, you, like how we created for the markers, you could do the same way, create the windows, and be sure you add up the two products and you know exactly what you're doing. So if you're doing two phones, it'll be 200. If you're trying to sell three phones at a different price, so make sure the window has numbers more than 200 pounds, but less than, less than 305 pounds. So it covers the 300 and doesn't cover 200 or 100 in it. So now that you have standard shipping set up, if you want to do expedited shipping or give them gift wrap options or give them an option to do a fancy packaging or fancy box choice or include a gift card, include a greeting card or whatever, you could just simply go add rate and copy the weights and just the same weights and then choose the price that you want to do. And in the name, just put in whatever you're including. So say if you include expedited shipping right over here, I'm not sure if I um, named it correctly, but zero to one pound, and we want to do it for 50 bucks, let's say 20 bucks, 20 bucks, and hit done. It'll sit right up here, like how you see. The, these two are the same windows, zero LB to one LB, zero LB to one LB. So say someone buys one marker, and once they reach the shipping part of their add to cart, once they add to cart, they put in the information and they reach shipping, 
it's going to show them two options now because we made two different ones. One's going to be standard shipping. They could get it shipped in however many days you want to do for four bucks or they could get it shipped for 20 bucks and it's going to be expedited because that's what we enabled. I, pro tip, I always recommend people not to put two day shipping, three day shipping, four day shipping, one day shipping. Instead put expedited or fast shipping because sometimes being such a small company like we are we can, or you will be or I don't know how big you are but we do rely on FedEx, UPS, USPS, DHL and all of these companies and we are the biggest or the big giant accounts that they have so we will not get the priority that we want to provide with our cust provide to our customers so if you say fast shipping if it's two days or three days it's not mentioned so the customers might not have a problem thinking what it is so they would they could go into shipping details and read what it says it, expedited shipping could be between two to three and standard shipping could be five to ten you could put it in shipping and returns as a separate page on your website so that's pro tip that being said this is how you want to set up standard shipping or expedited shipping or shipping prices on your website and if you want to do free shipping or you want to call it charge different kind of ways you just play around with the phenomenon and the formula that I gave you and it should work out so I hope that this video helped you a little bit and give this video a big 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 thumbs up because I try to make this content regularly so you guys could enjoy and actually make your own stories and make some success stories and tell me about it. I get snaps and Instagrams, Instagram messages and Facebook messages all the time on my phone and sometimes I don't get to those Facebook messages and Instagram messages because they don't come directly as a message. They're like waiting for approval. So if I have not responded to your message, it's because of that. So I do recommend just go into my video and just comment and I'll get back to your comment, like whatever first comments I get, I do get back to them in the next 24 to 48 hours of posting the video. So go ahead and feel free to do that. Or you could go to my email, it's yashreen.fl at gmail.com and send me an email and I try to respond to it. So add me on Snapchat, on your Instagram, subscribe by clicking here, watch my previous video right here, and that's it, peace.